So obviously the big move the Suns made over the offseason, bringing in Bradley Beal. Yeah. How do you see that working out for the Suns? I, mean, I think it's going to be great. I, I, I've been saying consistently ever since they made the Kevin Durant trade, you can't judge on what happens like through the playoffs. And by the way, they, they're very respectable showing through the playoffs, but they had to give away so much to get him. That wasn't the team. So now, in the offseason, we're seeing them build a team. And Bradley Beal is a great place to start. He has been hungry. I, I know Bradley pretty well. He's been hungry to have this kind of experience, not be the only guy. He's had all the like scoring title type of best score on the team, all the points, all the money. Now he just wants to win, and that's the kind of guy you want to be. Absolutely. How do you see that dynamic between the three of them kind of working out? Because they do. A lot of people have made the Brooklyn Nets big three comparison, but it feels like they're very interchangeable. Very different personalities than in Brooklyn. So I wouldn't go by that in, in either direction, good or bad. I think that these guys in particular are very good. They're, they're very good guys, all three of them, at helping each other out on the court. They're both going to draw so much defense, all going to draw so much defense that, like, the, you know, I said both because you'll get two guys drawing a lot of defense and then the other guy is going to be like, right? Um, I, I think the temperament is really, like, a great, great setup for a really successful year. Obviously, with their salary cap situation, they kind of had limited yeah. flexibility there, but they really kind of maximized those veteran signings when you think of the well, I was going to say, we saw people will want to come play with you if you put together a winning feeling team, right? And guys will sign for less and all that stuff. And that's what we saw. And by the way, it's not a bad place to live. No, so, it's really not. Can I tell you guys a secret? What's that? I was born in Phoenix. Where are you really? Phoenix native. Okay. There you go. There we go. We got Rachel and I can back on the bandwagon. Exactly. <laughs>